Previously on Sailing Satori, as we were sailing south of St. Bart's on a 10-hour passage, we were hit by a morning squall. As the winds picked up, our rigging gave way. Our chain plate snapped off the deck, forcing us to turn around. We were able to limp back to the island of St. Martin, where we now have a major project on our hands. So far, we have removed all of the lower chain plates and handed them over to the machine shop for fabrication. Right now my uh, chain plates are being worked on. Before I get those back on the boat, um, I have some work to do on the deck. So each one of these uh, areas where the chain plate cover goes in, um, some of the screws are basically stripped out. I'm gonna get in here, drill them out, oversized, um, and then epoxy those in, and then re-drill the holes for all the chain plate covers. You'll notice here a lot of these wood shavings from the core that are coming up are really kind of really nasty looking, um, certainly rotten, but it is all dry, so I'm not worried about any kind of wet, wet core in this area. And I know that the rest of the deck around this and behind and forward has been replaced with a, like a high density foam, so there really is no worry about this being soft deck or any kind of structural issue. Mostly what I want here is to replace um, all this rotten wood so that the screws can have something to bite into. And really all the only reason for that is to kind of squish that plate down so that um, the sealant has something to grab onto. So now I'm just gonna mix up some uh, putty to fill those holes with. It's good to have some like popsicle wooden strips around for this kind of stuff. And maybe even some gloves. Yeah, yeah. well I'm gonna get some gloves on. I don't know. I'm also going to take a little popsicle stick and cut this really thin because these holes that I'm dealing with, so that, kind of a little poker to get that epoxy putty down into those holes. That's what this is for. I totally anticipate having to come across and doing one more to fill in some of these top gaps. But yeah, it's starting to harden real quick. Smells like surfboard. Yeah. Da 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 You know what I'm singing? It's your work music.
one more pass by and then we'll be able to sand and then drill the pilot holes for the chain plate covers. I know. Seems like a lot of work for a simple task. When I line it up, you can see the edge here, so you can kind of tell, and then line up my drill bit, make a mark. Only the drill as far down is my mark. Now you can see we have a nice, clean hole, so I feel a lot better about this. Just snug So here we go, we have our uh, our first set of uh, smaller lower shroud chain plates in. We were actually going to go um, run some errands and stuff, but uh, they just finished these and we're kind of in a mad rush to get these in so we can get the bigger chain plates off, hand those over, and hopefully they can finish those today. Um, and then we can install those in time to get a rigging check. I want to be optimistic, but there's a good chance we're at this dock all weekend. I'm unsure what these are of these 316 stainless, but these ones certainly are. And we're hoping that all of these holes line up to the holes that are in the boat. So now these uh, plates are basically perfectly straight. The other ones I took out have a bend to them, but that bend kind of, I guess, is a cause of the fact that you know these are f behind the mast, so there's a little bit of a pull this way. Also, that the holes, <clears throat> the slots where these stick up, isn't exactly aligned. So these things stick in, and as I tighten, as I tighten the chain plate, it's gonna kind of push up against here and have a little bit of bend up and through. I'm assuming that's by design. Ooh. Dirty window. Good.
hear that? The main sheet and the uh, he's, the, he's the main sheet, he's a backstay. Once, it, it, once the lowers are tightened up, okay. then you can release the, yeah. the cap and the lower to take, to take out his chest. So the rigger came by and he, and he said that we should um, ease on the main sheet here. So I'm just going to make this a little slack. And uh, then also ease the back stay because um, those are putting pressure down on the mast. And if we remove the, the cap and the intermediate, then basically it can kind of buckle itself because it's so much pressure coming down on it. But because we have our four lowers tightened up, it creates a solid base. The rest of the mast can ultimately hold itself up. So we don't want to push or bring any pressure down on it. So that's that's what they say. It's kind of scary taking those off. Yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking because they're tight. Look, and it looks like that's what the main support. Arthur. Hi. No, 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 no. You stay back there. You got a skater behind you. Mm -hmm. Yee, look at that. Oh god, it's <laughs> oh baby. Huh? It's a wobbly. Look at it. What? I gotta get out of here, I can't. That's a great idea. Well, I'm just gonna add some tension on this, and then just keep tapping it. It's hard to tell. It's moving, so these marks down here, hopefully. On my back. At a quick glance, how's it look? Not good? Uh, it looks better than the others. Arthur just uh, helps himself up to the bed. Is this freaking him out? Yeah, he doesn't like the noise. I wonder if this is so tight because when they redid the deck, uh -huh. it's epoxy right up to this. I bet that's why it's so hard to get out. Yeah. There's no reason why. So I'll, good thing is I can cut it away. Baby. What you packing? Holy shit. Ready? Mm hmm That came out a lot nicer.
It's like, it's like a baby being yeah. delivered. <laughs> That's nice. If you like that video, give us a thumbs up. Want to see more? Subscribe and hit the bell to get notified when we upload our next one. For even more, check out our website and Patreon page. And also, if you want to see more Arthur, he has his own YouTube channel. You can find all these links in the description below.